SpaceX's Starship Flight 8 launch date has been adjusted, delaying the mission from its initially scheduled February 26th launch. The new date, February 28th, falls within a previously announced backup window. This slight delay is attributed to ongoing hardware integration issues with the Starship's booster stages, specifically with the B-15 booster's hot staging ring, which required several trips to the manufacturing facility. While the delay is relatively minor, it underscores the intricacies of launching complex cutting-edge spacecraft. The FAA's launch window remains unchanged, allowing for optimal observation conditions. This postponement highlights the meticulous preparations and potential challenges involved in such a complex undertaking. The delay, while relatively short, demonstrates the continued diligence of SpaceX in addressing technical issues before proceeding with the mission. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope faces significant budget cuts, raising concerns about its future operations and scientific output. SpaceX's impressive track record continued on February 21st with the successful launch of a Falcon 9 rocket. This mission, marking the 450th flight of the Falcon rocket family, underscored the company's dominance in the launch industry. The Falcon 9's booster, B-176, achieved its 21st successful landing, further demonstrating the remarkable cost-effectiveness and sustainability of reusable rockets. This milestone marks a significant achievement, surpassing China's launch frequency and highlighting SpaceX's proficiency in both launch and booster recovery. This success further solidifies SpaceX's position as a leader in the commercial space sector. The high frequency of Falcon 9 launches and the high rate of booster reuse directly contributes to the remarkable expansion of the Starlink satellite constellation, providing global internet access and demonstrating the company's ability to efficiently and cost-effectively deploy large numbers of satellites. The consistent success of the Falcon 9 fleet serves as a critical component in achieving ambitious space exploration goals and developing global infrastructure. The delay in Starship Flight 8 highlights the intricate challenges of integrating complex rocket systems, the issues with the B-15 booster's hot staging ring, requiring repeated shipping to the manufacturing facility, underscore the technical complexities involved in developing and assembling large-scale launch vehicles. These setbacks, while potentially frustrating, are a crucial part of the iterative design and development process. While work continues on Starship, the consistent testing of supporting systems like the chopstick mechanisms and the tank farm pumps reflects SpaceX's dedication to ensuring mission success. Despite the setback with B-15, SpaceX continues to make progress in other crucial areas of the program, showcasing their multifaceted approach. The ongoing testing and improvements to the launch infrastructure demonstrate the company's determination to overcome these challenges and finalize the critical systems necessary for a successful launch. This focus on system refinement emphasizes the importance of thorough testing and iterative improvements for complex space missions. The Artemis program's success hinges on SpaceX's ability to deliver a reliable and powerful lunar landing system. The ongoing development of Starship, chosen as the human landing system, is critical to achieving this goal. This necessitates careful attention to fuel requirements and adaptation to the Moon's unique environment, including lower gravity and the absence of an atmosphere. The program's trajectory hinges on the successful integration of advanced refueling technologies, potentially with specialized tanker ships. Challenges in perfecting fuel transfer and landing procedures underscore the complex logistical considerations of a crewed lunar mission. The program's ambition demands a meticulous approach to overcome these hurdles and ensure the safety and effectiveness of future lunar landings. SpaceX's ability to develop and deploy this system will directly impact the viability of a sustained human presence on the moon. SpaceX's vision for sustained human presence on the moon necessitates advanced technological solutions, including the development of robust life support systems for extended lunar missions. The adaptation of existing life support systems from the Crew Dragon capsule is crucial for astronaut well-being during extended lunar stays. The challenge lies in scaling these systems for the unique demands of lunar operations, ensuring adequate oxygen, water, and waste management. The reliability of these life support systems is paramount to maintaining astronaut health during long missions. 
Developing a comprehensive and dependable life support system is a critical prerequisite for establishing a sustainable lunar base. The success of this component will directly affect the program's ability to support astronauts' long-term survival and comfort in the challenging lunar environment. This component is crucial for the future of crewed lunar missions and establishing human settlements beyond Earth. SpaceX's Starship's ability to reach lunar orbit and return requires overcoming complex refueling challenges. A reusable tanker ship is essential for supplying the vast quantities of propellant needed for the journey. The technical complexity of these refueling maneuvers underscores the logistical hurdles inherent in deep space travel. The need for multiple docking and refueling operations significantly increases the complexity and cost of the mission. SpaceX must master the refueling process to ensure Starship can carry sufficient fuel for the outbound and return trips. This technological hurdle directly impacts the feasibility and cost of lunar missions. Successfully developing and deploying this refueling system is crucial for the long-term viability of Starship as a vehicle for lunar exploration and potentially future missions beyond the moon. Efficient and reliable refueling capabilities are key to making deep space travel economically feasible and operationally sustainable. The eighth flight test of Starship is preparing to launch as soon as Monday, March 3rd. A live webcast of the flight test will begin about 40 minutes before liftoff, which you can watch here and on X at SpaceX. You can also watch the webcast on the XTV app. The launch window will open at 5.30 p.m. CT. As is the case with all developmental testing, the schedule is dynamic and likely to change. So be sure to check in here and stay tuned to our X account for updates. After completing the investigation into the loss of Starship early on its seventh flight test, several hardware and operational changes have been made to increase reliability of the upper stage. You can read the full summary of the mishap investigation here. The upcoming flight will target objectives not reached on the previous test, including Starship's first payload deployment and multiple re-entry experiments geared towards returning the upper stage to the launch site for catch. The flight also includes the launch, return, and catch of the Super Heavy booster. Extensive upgrades to Starship's upper stage debuted on the previous flight test, focused on adding reliability and performance across all phases of flight. Starship's forward flaps have been upgraded to significantly reduce their exposure to re-entry heating while simplifying the underlying mechanisms and protective tiling. Redesigns to the propulsion system, including a 25% increase in propellant volume over previous generations, add additional vehicle performance and the ability to fly longer duration missions. And the vehicle's avionics underwent a complete redesign, adding additional capability and redundancy for increasingly complex missions like propellant transfer and ship return to the launch site. During the flight test, Starship will deploy four Starlink simulators, similar in size to next generation of Starlink satellites as the first exercise of a satellite deploy mission. The Starlink simulators will be on the same suborbital trajectory as Starship and are expected to demise upon entry. A relight of a single Raptor engine while in space is also planned. The flight test includes several experiments focused on enabling Starship's upper stage to return to the launch site. A significant number of tiles have been removed from Starship to stress test vulnerable areas across the vehicle. Multiple metallic tile options including one with active cooling, will test alternative materials for protecting Starship during re-entry. On the sides of the vehicle, non-structural versions of Starship's catch fittings are installed to test the fitting's thermal performance, along with a section of the tile line receiving a smoothed and tapered edge to address hot spots observed during re-entry on Starship's sixth flight test. Starship's re-entry profile is designed to intentionally stress the structural limits of the upper stage's rear flaps while at the point of maximum entry dynamic pressure. Finally, several radar sensors will once again be tested on the launch and catch towers chopsticks with the goal of increasing the accuracy when measuring distances between the chopsticks and a returning vehicle. The super heavy booster for this flight features upgraded avionics, including a more powerful flight computer, improved power and network distribution, and integrated smart batteries. Distinct vehicle and pad criteria must be met prior to the return and catch of the Super Heavy booster, requiring healthy systems on the booster and tower and a final manual command from the mission's flight director. If this command is not sent prior to the completion of the boost backburn 
or if automated health checks show unacceptable conditions with super heavy or the tower, the booster will default to a trajectory for a soft splashdown in the Gulf of America. We accept no compromises when it comes to ensuring the safety of the public and our team, and booster return will only take place if conditions are right. The returning booster will slow down from supersonic speeds, resulting in audible sonic booms in the area around the landing zone. Generally, the only impact to those in the surrounding area of a sonic boom is the brief thunder-like noise with variables like weather and distance from the return site determining the magnitude experienced by observers. Developmental testing by definition is unpredictable, but by putting flight hardware in a flight environment as frequently as possible, we're able to quickly learn and execute design changes as we seek to bring Starship online as a fully and rapidly reusable vehicle.